Okay. Hello, welcome. We're already in the park. Because I'm literally parked just on the other side of that white car, just literally here. Uh, lovely stuff. I've bought a a switchback wristband for $20. Well, yeah, $22, $21 with tax. Uh, which just lets you ride the roller coaster, nothing else. There's not much here. It's in a bit of a random place. But we've got a obviously this roller coaster. We'll have a look what else they've got. A little drop tower here. I can see a go kart. So it's a gravity craft, which is the gravity group, isn't it? Didn't have to change the name in America for some reason. But yeah, gravity craft over here. And it's a, sh a wooden shuttle coaster. Not too many of them around. But yeah, we're going to have a little we'll have a look around the park first. We will, I can turn the camera on. They've said yes, which is very nice of them. Or is this it? I think this might be, you know. These are a bit funky, these ones. Is that Zampola? Oh, I'm going to go up. Just because there's no one waiting. We'll get some off-ride shots as well. Manufactured by the Gravity Group, there you go. It's the only wooden roller coaster in the world that goes forwards and backwards. 87 degrees. Right, let's go and, let's go and give it a whirl. Have a, have a few rides whilst I'm here. It's in Seguin, if that's how you say it, Texas. Right, okay, first ride uh, on the switch back. The shuttle coaster with a lift hill. Go figure. I will say, it looks a little bit jolty in places. What well, the Gravity Group are really good at, these tiny, really compact coasters, like um, Gronelund. We're in Sweden, here we go. Some magnetic brakes there. Oh! Hey, yeah, you got the reverse track now. It was good. A little bit, a little bit rough, I would say. Yeah, you know, these magnetic brakes. They're not magnetic. Right, we'll stay a bit further back this time. Okay, this time on the back seat. There's a few big jolts on the front seat, so not too short the back seat, if you like. What I find even more bizarre is, literally across the road, there's literally a house, and that's the guy you can hear mowing his lawn. And he must have been in that house prior to this wooden coaster opening right outside his house. You'll see him on the left now as we go down. Oh. 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 There's a jolt. It's just back here now. It's about here. Oh. oh, 
more, do you? There we go. There's literally one jolt on that where the track, you know, where the two tracks meet, and it just feels like this, there's one which is too too high than the other. Because other than that, the the real the wheels run fine. It's just literally that one massive jolt. The man is 2015 I think I saw it open. I saw it open and I thought, that looks odd, that'd be fun to do one day. Didn't realise it was this close to, to Texas. Oh, where we've been in the past. I liked it. It screams, it shouldn't be here. Okay, it shouldn't be here. Oh, it's about the noise. It shouldn't be here. Like, in this little part, the footprint of this part, because it's, it's, it's not a tiny ride, it's quite big. In this park, there should be lots of little attractions where they can make a lot of money from like a wristband or... And they've got, no, no, we'll have one or two smaller rides and then just have a massive, relative, massive wooden coaster. Very odd decision, but I am all for it. All for it. down this little area it's a private area which is obviously not being used today but even this has got like windows in so you can just maybe, can you see the houses over there what must they be thinking now yeah like i was saying this has been made by a coaster lover this building was obviously already here and they've weaved the coaster it's hard to get this across through this building and out the other side. So someone who obviously wanted that, someone who, who loves wooden coasters has gone, I own this little bit of land and I make a little amusement park and one day I want a massive wooden coaster. And this is massive for this, like height wise, probably just a little bit smaller than the Wicker Man. That's a very rough guess, but like from the ground up, just as you come back down backwards, you go over, like it feels like you're going over a speed bump. It's it's a proper big jolt, proper big jolt. I did notice that some of these, so it used to be a little farm, didn't it? Or something similar. You just see on the side of these silos, on the right hand side, see the little uh, platform is, there's some climbing towers. You can climb up the silos. Right, so the, look, <laughs> by the way, that's my hire car and that's the entrance. Oh there, you can just about see the, I mean it doesn't look like they've been used in a very long time, those ones. There's a bit of a water park, which I don't think is open yet. That used to be something, looks like it did. There's a pathway, oh, looks like there's all sorts that you used to be able to do and do maybe. Oh my gosh, this is really weird. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, here's the go-karts. Oh, the electric. They sound very quiet. This looks fairly big, actually. I mean, your wristband does include them. Oh, yeah, it's really quiet. Yeah, the water park looks like it has a master blaster slide. So there's some serious money here. We've got a little up ramp and a down ramp. There you go, off you go. That's it, I'm heading off now. It's a weird but lovely place. The staff were great when I came in. Just wanted to check the GoPro, make sure it wasn't gonna fall off. It's quite funny, because with the GoPros, I'm pretty sure most theme parks like, oh, it's gonna fly off and hit someone. They're not cheap. I'd like to keep hold of it. Very quickly, you can see here, the. And it's just come through 
another farm building and it's stuck at the banking on it. You're on what, 90, 95 to 100 with that? Let's try and see if I can see anything else from down here. I don't think it will be able to. You see the layout? It's a lot, obviously it's a shuttle, so it feels a lot longer than where it normally would be. But yeah, it was, it, I'm glad I came here. The coast is great. These, it reminded me a lot of, oh, what's it called now? Twister at Gronalund in Sweden. That's what it felt like. Same, same trains, over the Timberliner trains and stuff. Very quickly, there's more to this building. I'm going to have a quick peek. Outside food and drink, except birthday cake, can only be stored or consumed in the outdoor sections of the park. <sighs> I like how specific that is. Oh no. The dead doll. Inside there's like a little arcade. There's loads of kids in there, so I wasn't gonna film in there. A um, little arcade, there's a climbing wall, there is a... Uh, it's like a little motion simulator and it looks like it's the one that goes upside down. Uh, what else is there? It's like a ball blast, you know, rubber balls and all the air compressions and stuff. That's it, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe if you can, please like the video if you can. That is it. Have a nice life.